What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Today we are going to create a startup website called Process Street. So I'm about to demo it for you guys in just a second. But before I do, I just want to say that today is the one month anniversary of the channel and we have had incredible growth. We're coming up on 500 subscribers and even better than that guys, I just feel like we've really created a community here. And I've had people reaching out to me to collaborate on adding additional functionality to some of the projects here. And it's really awesome. And I just, I hope you guys are really enjoying the content and I'm loving making it. And I just want to keep us continuing together to grow um, as developers and as a community. So uh, just thank you guys. So here we go. Uh, let's dive in. We've got Process Street here. Uh, this is our kind of uh, landing page. You've got your uh, buttons here with some mouse over effects. Um, you can put in the company name, get started here. Uh, you can watch a video. It's kind of like a preview video for the site. Uh, and then moving down here, we've got a few different graphics and things like that for uh, cr explaining uh, how the process tree works. And again, you've got a mouse over function here. Uh, moving on, we have a slider. You can see we can click through that. Got a few different reviews here from 2 Chains and Drake and Young Thug. And then moving on here, we have um, just a short company review. And at the end, we have another little um, kind of banner where you can sign up down below as well. So uh, to create this, guys, we are going to be using the Atom text editor. We are going to be using HTML, CSS, JavaScript to animate the slider. And we are going to be using Bootstrap and a, um, a package or a CSS sheet called Font Awesome to make some of these things as well. So, if you guys are just getting started, I will link uh, to Adam.io, which is a text editor I'll be I'll be using for this project in the description, and uh, go ahead and download that, and then we'll get started. So, moving over here to Adam.io, uh, first thing we're going to do is create a new folder. So let's go ahead and call this folder Process Street Tutorial. And there we go. Let's find that folder. All right. And now within this folder here, we are going to create three files. So file one, we have our index.html. Um, file two, we have our um, style.css. And file three is going to be our script.js file. All right, there we go. So um, what we're going to do here first is uh, go ahead and create the heading element of our HTML file that contains the information about the file and that will link to our style.css and script.js sheet. So if you guys are following along, I am using two plugins in Atom. The first one is Emmet, E-M-M-E-T, and the second one is Atom Live Server, which we're going to be using for viewing the uh, web page as we create it. So if you guys are, again, new to this, um, go ahead and download those plugins. You do that by going to File Settings or Edit Preferences and then install the plugins depending on which operating system you're on. But besides that, if you guys are already good to go with that, then uh, we're just going to get started here. So uh, let's go ahead and create our header. And the first, uh, the first few things we're going to add here are our style sheets. Or our, is our style sheet. So we're going to say uh, link... And we are going to go ahead and import our style sheet. So we are going to get it from within this folder. So we're going to say period backslash style.css. And next up here, we are going to import our script sheet. So we are going to say script. And then we're going to link that. Oops. Um, we're going to say script and we're going to say uh, source. And that will be period backslash script.js. All right, so that'll link our sheets for us here. Two more sheets that we are also going to use. We need to get Bootstrap 4 and we need to get Font Awesome. So what we are going to use for this are content delivery networks, uh, which is just a way of basically saying we're going to use an external CSS sheet and link to it from within our, um, from within our file and then we're gonna use it there. So let's go ahead and get Bootstrap 4 CDN. 
I'll put the links for these in the description, by the way, so you guys don't have to bother doing this. And going to go ahead here and copy and paste this right here. So we get that. And next up here, we are going to go ahead and we are going to get our um, font awesome CDN for 3.7.0. All right, and once we have this linked in here, um, let's see here. Yeah, once we have this linked in here, we are going to go ahead and get started with our HTML. So let's say uh, link rel equals style sheet. And we are going to set our href and that will be that URL right there. And then we are good to go. Okay, guys. So uh, we are going to be using Bootstrap to space our website to divide it up into the individual columns that will allow us to add the content to them later. So the first uh, div that we are going to add is going to have a class of fluid container. So let's go ahead and do that. And now this is a class from Bootstrap 4 that will basically um, let us know that the contents or let the website know that the contents within the fluid container should be uh, dynamically resized depending on the screen of the or the size of the browser. So now that we've got that, uh, let's go ahead and add a class called uh, blueback to a new div here. So this is where we're going to create the background or add the background that is that initial blue background that you guys saw at the top there. So that will be this blue background right here. All right, next up here, we're going to go ahead and add the rows that make up our, that make up our content. So we're gonna say div row and set the class to be row. And we are going to, within this nest, a div with the class of call MD8. And we are also going to add the class offset dash MD dash two. And what this is going to do is take our, uh, our, eight, our call MD8 and it's gonna move it over to. So instead of putting another div with the class of call MD2, uh, which will create the column that is a uh, fraction of two, then we will, uh, then we get to skip that part and keep our HTML a little cleaner here. So after that, we are going to go ahead and we're going to open up a header tag within this div. So in our header here, we are going to add a span with the class of logo, and this is going to contain the text process street. All right. Next up here, we are going to add a span with the class of hiring text. And inside here, we're going to put we're hiring. All right. After that, we're going to add a div with the class of get started with a dash in between get and started. All right. And inside here, we are going to add a button, two buttons. Uh, and these buttons are going to be these ones that we see up here. So, so far, we've got this text. We've got this text here. And now we're adding the buttons. So let's go ahead and create a button with the class of get started login. And in here, we're going to put the text login. And after that, we're going to add a button with the class of get started free. All right, and the text is going to be get started for free. Okay. So there we go, we've got our closing div tag, we've got our closing header, uh, a couple more closing divs. Now we're going to move down below these divs here and we are going to open up a new row. And now within this row, we are going to put these elements here. So we've created this first kind of nav bar at the top here, our header, and now we're gonna go ahead here and add in this text. So let's go ahead and say, uh, well, we've got our row, now we're gonna say div with a class of call MD6, and we're going to offset MD3, and then we're also going to add the class of title container. 
Now what this is going to do here is again create those columns. So with Bootstrap you have a columns you have columns that are 12 uh, 12 wide. So we can use up to 12. So we're saying call MD6 is going to be kind of the middle uh, the middle 66% and then we're going to have uh, three on the side and another three over here So we're using the offset to again move it over three and then begin our text area or begin our column So we've got that with title container and so we're going to open that up and now within this div We are going to nest um, a couple headers with our text. So let's go ahead and say uh, title h1 with the class of title task and text all right and inside here we are going to put simple task and workflow all right next up we're going to create another h1 tag and this is going to have the class of title automation text all right and this is going to be automation for teams all right, so we've got our two uh, text pieces up here. Next, we're gonna add a, a paragraph tag or a P tag that is going to have this text within it here. So let's go ahead and say, we'll give this P tag a class of title description text. And then we are gonna go ahead and put in here uh, this text right here. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this to make it a little quicker. Okay, so now that we've got our P in there, we are going to go ahead and that will be all the content that we add for this column here. So moving on here, we now have our text here, our text here and here, and this all in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start up, <clears throat> start up the server here. Uh, let's see. So I'm using the Atom Live server plugin, and what this is doing is it's uh, kind of initializing the web page on a on our uh, IP address that is our local IP address at port 3000. So we're going to say 127. Dot, uh, dot zero dot zero dot one colon 3000, and that will bring us to our um, our web page that is being rendered here. So I have a few extra things on my desktop, but as long as you have this as your primary folder within Atom, it will be the one to pop up here. So here we go. We've got our web page here. Now our text does not appear to be appearing at the moment, which means we have a small error in here somewhere. Okay, so let's check out what is going on here. But we're gonna go ahead and fix that up after we finish adding in the additional HTML here. So after we got this, we're gonna go ahead and do a div with the class of row again. So div row and within this, we're going to go ahead and nest uh, several tags as well. So we're gonna say div with the class of call MD2 and offset MD4. Oops. All right, offset MD4. All right, and then within this, we're going to put the input field that is going to be, or the, the text field for the email, and then we're gonna put the button on the right after that. So let's go ahead here and put an input with the class of title email field. All right, and we are also going to add a placeholder. So guys, what the placeholder attribute does is when you have an input field, you can specify the text that you want to uh, be in that input field in order to prime the user for what they should put in there. So we're gonna go ahead and set up a placeholder, and that is gonna be name at company.com. Okay, there we go, and that will be it for what we put in this um, column here. So now we're going to go ahead and open up another column and this is going to be call dash MD2 and also is going to have the class of aligned. Now we're going to go into our CSS uh, sheet a little bit later and add the necessary styling to do that. So for now just roll with me and we're going to put these uh, classes in here. We'll add the styling in just a bit. So now we've got a button with the class of title dash get started button.
with dashes in between each of those. And then the text we're gonna put in here is again, get started for free. And then we're going to add a paragraph text that, or a P tag that is going to contain the text, um, no credit card required. All right, and within here we are going to, or this P tag is going to have the class of credit dash card dash text. All right, there we go. And that'll be it for uh, uh, elements that are nested within that div there. So next up here, we have one more row to go for this, for the uh, kind of the intro area. So we're gonna say div uh, again with the class of row. And within that, we're gonna nest a div with the class of call MD12. And within that, we are going to nest another div with the class of watch video container. Okay. So now that we've got that, we are going to add an H3 tag, and this is going to have the class of title dash watch dash video dash text. And within here, we're gonna put watch the video. And after that, we are going ahead, gonna go ahead and add another div below that that has the class of title dash play dash icon. And this is where we are going to put the uh, little play button icon that goes next to that. So within here, we're going to put an I tag. And in here, we are going to give it the class of FA, FA-play, and FA-2x. So what this is going to do is uh, grab the icon that is, uh, that is that little play button that we've got. So uh, that is what comes from Font Awesome. So uh, again, if you guys are using icons a lot on your web pages, uh, something definitely to do is check out these um, different style sheets that make it a lot easier. You don't have to go and design all these icons yourselves up from scratch. You can simply import these style sheets and then add additional styling on top just to make them uh, the way you want them. So now that we've got that within our I tag, we've got our closing divs, and that will conclude the, uh, the text area for the initial part of this web page. So I'm going to go ahead and save that, and let's see what's going on here. Okay, so there we go. Um, that will, that's all our HTML elements for the heading area. All I had to do was save the index.html. Didn't realize I hadn't done that yet, but... There we go, there's our HTML um, elements. That is what we are going to conclude this video with today. Um, I'm gonna follow this up with part two and that's where we're gonna add in everything else. So we're gonna add in all the rest of the HTML, all the style sheet, uh, or the, all the CSS styling, and finally, the JavaScript that is going to make it possible to have our little slider at the bottom there with the testimonials. So again, thank you guys very much for watching. Stay tuned for part two. Uh, if you got any questions or comments, definitely leave them below. I really love hearing from you guys so uh, definitely leave any feedback and if you enjoyed the video definitely give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe if you haven't already uh, we're building a community here and I'm really excited about it so uh, yeah thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in part two